now all the students today we are going to start the first chapter that is chemical reactions and equations okay okay already the topic has been written on the board the first topic is chemical reaction what is chemical reaction actually the formation of a new product from the existing chemicals it is called as a chemical reaction the new products are formed from the existing reactants those are called it is called as chemical reaction for example making of a tea making of a tea is also considered as a chemical reaction because in making of a tea we are using four different chemicals the first one is water second one is tea powder third one is sugar fourth one is milk when we combine or when we combine all these chemicals when we mix all these chemicals when we heat it for 5 to 10 minutes depending on the quantity of that making of tea within 15 or 20 minutes 5 minutes 10 minutes if you heat it for that automatically the tea is prepared the tea is prepared how to identify a tea is prepared the color of the tea is different from the existing chemicals existing chemicals were different actually earlier four reactants were there the first reactant was the first reactant was water second was tea powder third is sugar fourth one is milk when we combine all the four and all the four are having different color from the existed chemical the new chemical has been formed which is that new chemical that is tea the color of the tea is different from those other earlier chemicals those are reactants it's a product the color has been changed a chemical reaction has been taken place it is a chemical reaction magnesium is reacting with the oxygen to form magnesium oxide or carbon is reacting with the oxygen to form carbon dioxide examples of chemical reaction now we are going to discuss about the next part that is chemical equation What is a chemical equation? The symbolic representation of reactants and products is called a chemical equation. I repeat, the symbolic representation, symbolic representation of reactant and product. What is the reactant? The chemicals which are reacting with each other, those are reactants. What is the product? What we are getting something new? It is a product. For example, how you have to write this chemical equation? For example, a very simple example, magnesium is reacting with the oxygen to form magnesium oxide. When you go for this magnesium, I will I am not going to write with the as a magnesium as a full letters M A G N E S I U M. I will write the symbol of magnesium. The symbol of magnesium is Mg. Yes, plus I wrote it. Means it is going to react with magnesium is going to react with. E is going to react with. The symbol is plus. The symbol is plus. Magnesium is going to react with the oxygen. Oxygen. Oxygen is in O2 form in the nature, so only I wrote O2. Apart from oxygen, how many other elements are there in the diatomic form in the nature? Apart from oxygen, we are having chlorine, it is in diatomic form in the nature. Hydrogen, it is diatomic form when they are single element atomic form they are in diatomic form combined depend on the valency 
when they are single, when the reaction, you have to write in this form. You should not write only H, you should write H2 form because it is a diatomic. Br2, H2, Cl2, these are the elements apart from the fluorine, iodine is also there, nitrogen is there, phosphorus is there, it is in P4 form. Phosphorus, sulfur is there, it is in a state form. Maybe you shall read in the class 9th. When you write these elements, when the reaction has a single element in a single form, I write these elements in this form only Cl2, H2, Br2, N2, P4, or S8. Okay? Magnesium is reacting with the oxygen. Magnesium is reacting with the oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Yes, magnesium is reacting with the oxygen to form magnesium oxide and uh, actually before reaction oxygen is 2, after reaction oxygen is 1, then I will balance it. I will tell you where to balance how to balance in the next session, continuous session only. Okay, magnesium is reacting with the oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Before this arrow mark is there now, these are these two elements are called as reactants. And this chemical is called as a product. Reactant and product. In a chemical equation, both reactants are there when the products. Product is also available. It is part of this symbolic representation. Magnesium is reacting with the oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Write a lengthy sentence, a very short form that is in equation form 2Mg plus O2, it gives 2MgO. It is the shortest form called as chemical equation. Now, we will we'll go for the next part, how to identify that chemical reaction has been taken place. Already I told about one, one point, the color of T will be changed from the all the reactants. T, will, T is a product actually, but four reactants are there. We will discuss about that part now only. Yes, it is also called as the signs of chemical reaction. Signs of chemical reaction. What happens? There will be a change in some reactions by seeing those changes we can identify that yes chemical reaction has been taken place for example the first one what is the first sign the first sign is a change in the color just now I told it that is change in the color because the color of a tea powder is almost dark color. It will be brown or something else. Dark color. It will be dark, it will be black color, it will be chocolate color, but it is a dark color only. And the color of milk is white, color of sugar is white, and the color of water is colorless. 
when the four chemicals are combined and when you heat that at that time we are getting a new product that is tea the tea is brown color the color has been changed it is a general example what it happens in our daily life now we will go for the example as per the textbook the change in color yes iron sulfate if you heat it becomes iron sulfate will becomes iron oxide sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide iron sulfate is also called as green vitriol and this iron sulfate it is in the light green color iron oxide when you heat this iron sulfate for 15 to 20 minutes in a test tube if you heat 1 gram of iron sulfate in a test tube for 15 to 20 minutes slowly the color start to change from light green the color change to the brown color the color change to the brown and sulfur dioxide sulfur trioxide will be liberated yes from light green color it has become brown color light green to brown the color has been changed yes it is changing color sign of it changing sign of chemical reaction the first point is changing color second change in state change in state what is that the states of these chemicals will be changed from solid to liquid liquid to gas gas to liquid liquid to solid solid to gas or gas to solid any change will be there change in the state of the elements will make it a or product change in the product state of the product is considered as a chemical reaction has been taken place for example water is react hydrogen is reacting with the oxygen i am talking about natural existing hydrogen is reacting with the oxygen when they are naturally when they react with each other they form water actually hydrogen is a gas oxygen is a gas water will be liquid the change of state it will vice versa also if you pass the electricity for this water it becomes hydrogen and oxygen gas the change in the state because it, is, it happens in both the form of forms it is natural where hydrogen is reacting with the oxygen to form water artificial when you pass electricity for the water it becomes hydrogen and oxygen both formats are there yes gas gas to liquid or if you take that passing of electricity for the water it becomes liquid to gas state and gas state change in the state change in the state you identify it as the chemical reaction has been taken place now we'll go for the third point
the third change that is uh, the third change is change in temperature the temperature will be changing as change in temperature what happens here in the change in temperature actually when calcium oxide is reacting with the water calcium oxide is reacting with the water it forms calcium hydroxide if you take a beaker if you pour the water if you have the calcium oxide the outermost part will become a bit hot it is nothing but change in temperature due to reaction the temperature has been changed yes change in temperature exactly it is uh, nothing but a chemical reaction has been taken place fourth one fourth one is uh, formation of a precipitation formation of a precipitation what happens in the formation of precipitation actually precipitate a buffer like solution will form then the center at the bottom part actually what happens actually when sodium sulfate is reacting with the barium chloride sodium sulfate is reacting with the barium chloride it becomes sodium chloride and barium sulfate it becomes sodium chloride and barium sulfate sodium chloride will be a crystal clear solution if you take a beaker the beaker the upper layer you add both of them the upper layer almost all here the sodium chloride will be there and the lower part the lower part barium sulfate will be settled down yes it is about the formation that is the precipitation formation of precipitation apart from that we are able to see the evolution of a gas where carbon is reacting with the oxygen to form carbon dioxide evolution of a heat evolution of light even the evolution of uh, sound is also formed because we are, we are able to hear the evolution of a sound so these are the things for example crackers are there crackers are there if you fire it it catches fire and uh, it bursts Yes, the burst automatically evolution of it. we are able to hear the sound when the gas is liberated when the huge amount of heat is liberated a yes, chemical reaction has been taken place yes, these all are the signs of chemical reaction or how to identify a chemical reaction has been taken place okay next we will go for the next part why to balance the reaction what is the reason to balance the reaction we will discuss about it
नेक्स्ट बैलेंसिंग ऑफ केमिकल इक्वेशन actually if you write the reaction if you get the reaction and if you write it on the board the reaction is converted into equ equation but is it balanced we have to check it why to balance we will discuss, we'll discuss about it for example magnesium is reacting with the oxygen to form magnesium oxide Yes, Mg plus O2 will use MgO. The symbol of magnesium is Mg, the symbol of oxygen is O2, and the symbol of uh, M, magnesium oxide or the formula of magnesium oxide is MgO. Is it balanced? No, it is not balanced. It is called as Skeletal reaction, skeletal equation, or unbalanced equation. We have to balance it. We we'll see it. We we'll make the two parts like mathematics, left hand side and right hand side. I think so. Studied very well in the mathematics LHS and RHS. Yes, actually in the left hand before this arrow mark these chemicals are called as comes under the left hand side and this, this, this chemical comes under the right hand side. Here we are having two elements magnesium is there and oxygen is there. Here we are having two elements magnesium is there, oxygen is there. We we'll write those things. Magnesium and oxygen. Left hand side, the magnesium is only one. Oxygen, left hand side, two are there. Right hand side, magnesium is one. Oxygen is one. Now, magnesium is balanced in both the left hand and right hand side, reactant and product part. But oxygen is not balanced. It is two here, it is one here. So we have to balance this oxygen. What to do for this? First we check it. Is the formula of magnesium oxide is MgO only or it will be different also? We will check about it. I think so if you studied in the class 9th about the valency of these elements, the valency of magnesium is 2. The valency of oxygen is 2. Yes, what to do? We have to simplify it. Still, we can simplify it as by 1. 2 ones are 2 ones are. Now, both magnesium and oxygen has become 1. Yes, the formula of magnesium oxide is MgO. So we should not change the formula. The formula should be remain same. Now what to do now? We can take now. How will take numbers 1 and 2 in the mathematics? The same we have to take 2 here. Before MGO, we can take it 2 here. It makes now this 2 is applicable for Mg also O also. I repeat. This 2 is applicable for magnesium also, oxygen also. Okay. Now what is it has become? It has now 2 oxygen. But even the magnesium has become 2 now. 
right hand side left hand side magnesium is 1 so I have to take it here 2 yes now all the sides 2 are there this process is called as trial and hit and trial method trial and error or hit and trial method is there usually the word they are given it, it is hit and trial method apart from that why to balance now if you remember it law of conservation of mass in the class 9 is it right to satisfy the law of conservation of mass we have to balance the chemical equation to satisfy the law of conservation of mass we have to balance the chemical equation I think so we got the idea where to balance chemical equation next we will go for the next part of the topic that is types of chemical reactions now we will get the exactly the basic types of chemical reactions Is types of chemical reactions we are having four basic types of reactions the first one is combination reaction second one is decomposition reaction third one is displacement reaction fourth is double displacement reaction I repeat the first one is combination reaction second is decomposition reaction third one is displacement reaction fourth is double displacement reaction we will learn one by one. The first one is combination reaction. Yes, what is this combination reaction? Actually, this combination reaction, two chemicals combine with each other to form one product in this reaction two chemicals or two or more chemicals combine with each other to form a single product for example magnesium is reacting with oxygen to form magnesium oxide here if you go for it this combination between metal and non-metal non-metal and non-metal or it may be in between the two compounds also first you go for it magnesium reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide yes magnesium Magnesium is a metal. Oxygen is a non-metal. Magnesium is a metal. Oxygen is a non-metal. When metal and non-metal combine with each other, it forms magnesium oxide. And keep in mind, it is a single product two or two chemicals or two or more chemicals combine with each other to form a single product it is a definition of combination reaction they are combining with each other to form only one product second example now metal and non-metal is over now we'll go for the non-metal and non-metal that is carbon is reacting with the oxygen to form carbon dioxide
Thus, carbon is a non-metal. Oxygen is non-metal and it is a compound and I have shown the arrow mark upper side. It shows that this is a gas which is liberated in the atmosphere. Okay. It is a symbol of gas. Carbon dioxide. It is also a compound. Metal reacts with non-metal to form a compound and it is a single product. Non-metal is reacting with the non-metal to form a single product that is carbon dioxide. Next we go for the third example. Compound is reacting with the compound. Which is that just now we have discussed all, already in the sign of chemical reactions. Yes, we will go for it. That is uh, change in temperature. Calcium oxide is reacting with the water to form calcium hydroxide. Yes, here calcium oxide is a compound. Water is a compound and calcium hydroxide is a compound and when the both compounds are reacted reacting with each other still we have got only single product it is definition of combination reaction it is definition of combination reaction combine chemicals are combining to form a single product okay we will discuss the second point or second reaction that is decomposition reaction decomposition reaction it is a type of reaction in this reaction actually a single reactant decomposes to form two or more products with the help of heat light or electricity I repeat the definition in this reaction a single reactant is decomposing or splitting into two or more chemicals or two or more products with the help of heat light or electricity for example calcium carbonate calcium carbonate when you heat this calcium carbonate The triangle is a symbol of uh, heating. When you heat calcium carbonate, this calcium carbonate is also called as limestone. When you heat it, it becomes it becomes calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. It becomes calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. If you heat the calcium carbonate, it is called as limestone heat it to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide okay we are having three types of this decomposition reaction depending on the heat depending on the light depending on the electricity heat light and electricity about the heat it is called as thermal decomposition reaction.
thermal decomposition reaction what happens in this reaction a single reactant is decomposed to form two or more products for example iron sulfate decomposes to form iron oxide sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide but it happens with the help of heat and the formation of the whole process is called as thermolysis example is iron sulfate if you heat iron sulfate it becomes it becomes iron oxide sulfur dioxide sulfur trioxide the color of iron sulfate is light green the color of iron oxide will be brown color is light green to brown color it is about the thermal decomposition reaction heat next second one is uh, b it is photo decomposition reaction or photolysis this photo decomposition reaction in this reaction a single reactant is decomposing to form two or more products with the help of sunlight or light example silver chloride is decomposing to form silver and chlorine silver chloride in presence of sunlight it forms silver and chlorine actually we are having silver chloride we are having the one more reaction it is silver bromide Yes, these are decomposing the silver chloride or silver bromide. These are decomposing in the presence of sunlight, so it is called as photo decomposition reaction. The third reaction, decomposition reaction, is uh, electro decomposition reaction or electrolysis. It is called as photolysis.
electrolytic decomposition reaction electro decomposition reaction and uh, the process actually what happens in this reaction in this reaction if you go for the single reactant it decomposes into two or more products with the help of electricity and the process is called as electrolysis for example water is decomposed to form hydrogen and oxygen if you pass the electricity for a container which is having the water it will forms hydrogen as well as oxygen actually if you go through the combination reaction what it is there in the combination reaction single product was there but here single reactant is there and if you go for the combination reaction the multiple reactants were there now here the multiple products are there so the decomposition reaction is also called as opposite of combination reaction okay students we will discuss the next topic that is displacement reaction double displacement reaction oxidation reduction reaction or redox reaction and corrosion and rancidity in the next class thank you to all of you